Hello everyone. In this video, we will do some major and minor seventh exercises to solidify the new ideas. Okay. So, uh, but before we go on, uh, before I try these exercises, let's do a super quick recap. Okay. So, um, let me go down here. Okay. So, say you're trying to locate these major seventh. And I think this ex example is actually worth memorizing, right? So I kind of have, have have this one memorized already. So if you want a major seven, actually, instead of uh, counting up, you just go backwards by half step. So you should have the same note here, B, okay? And uh, so that's a shortcut. B would be the major seven of C. And the way you obtain B is by going backwards half step from C, okay? So if you want a minor seventh, in this case it's actually a B flat, okay? You just go backward by a whole step, right? And that should be your minor seventh. And we'll be uh, using this uh, method for these exercises, okay? So let's uh, let's do them, okay? And the best way to do, uh, and, and the end result that you're trying to achieve is uh, is uh, is what we call know it cold. Basically, that means, okay, you just do it without having to, having to think about it. You know it so well that you don't even have to think about it. And that's your end goal. So don't be afraid to repeat these exercises many, many times until you achieve that kind of proficiency. So C, that would be a B. We just did that, so I'm just going to write it down. Okay, so G, major seventh, okay? So remember, you just go backwards, half step. So what's the uh, note that's half step below G? F sharp, right? So F sharp. Okay, so, uh, okay, D, major seventh, what's the note half step below D? C sharp, right? A, what about A, what's the note half step below A? G sharp. E, what's the note half step below E sharp? D sharp. Again, these are all major seventh intervals, okay? So B, what about B? That should be an A sharp, all right? So that's how you obtain your major seventh interval. You do so by counting backwards, okay? Minor seventh. So uh, you will count backward by a whole step this time. So F, half step backward, I'm, I'm sorry, whole step backward should be E flat, right? So if you're not uh, familiar with the uh, so that's a half step apart, right? So you need to flatten this one to get a whole step, right? So that's a whole step. Okay, B flat. What's the note whole step below B flat? Okay, so what's the note here? Okay. And uh, but B flat A, it's just a whole half step. So probably we need an A flat. So A flat is your minor seventh of B flat, okay? Okay, E flat. Okay, again, so E flat, D, okay, D. So probably a D flat, right? D flat, E flat, is that a whole step apart? Bingo, so D flat. What about A flat? Okay, I'm just gonna do it here. G, okay, G flat, right? So you have A flat, G, G flat, A flat. Is that a whole step apart? Awesome, that's it. D flat, okay, C flat, so let's check this one, okay. Are they a ha whole step apart? C to D, C flat, D flat, I think so. Last one, okay, G flat. I think it's an F, but with a flat, and let's check that again. G flat, F flat, are they a, ha a whole step apart? I think so. So that's it. So actually, major and minor seven are pretty easy to come by. Again, by counting backwards, either a half step or whole step, you should have the answer in like a second. Okay. So just be careful with this whole step, half step thing. All right. So I uh, hope these uh, make sense, and uh, I'll see you in the next video where we would do some review. Okay. So thank you.